Good morning. I took a day off yesterday from filming. Mostly I drove around trailer shopping all day, which was good. I think I found I think I found a decent trailer at a semi-reasonable price. So um, we might make a decision on that today and go buy something and, and go get it. We might not. I don't know. It is still crappy and rainy and misty and the sun almost came out yesterday. Like for 10 minutes. I'm like, ooh, maybe we can go do something, but didn't get enough. So the beans are, uh, they're, they're ready, but they're wet and we just need some sunshine to get the pods to dry out and to get the beans to dry out so that we can start harvest. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen today. Uh, there are some scattered showers around to the west. Sounds like chances of heavy showers tonight, potentially up to an inch of rain. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll slow us down even more. Even we haven't even started yet so we will see uh, I have a couple of other projects going on today one might involve going and taking a potential seed customer to lunch and trying to lock down an order and the other one is planting some grass around my house where I did a little work over the weekend trying to grade some dirt off and stuff and would like to get something growing so I'm gonna run over to a buddy of mine uh, I need some straw if I'm gonna do that and uh, it would be nice to have a, a roller or something to kind of firm it up a little bit. So he's got one. Let's see if I can borrow it. All right. Um, well, I came back for a trailer. So we're going to take the dump trailer. It was the first time I've used this. And uh, grab his. He's got a, a little lawn roller thing. And it's empty, so it's light. But we I couldn't get it in the back of my truck very easy. So I'm going to take this trailer over. We'll throw a couple bales of straw in there because he's got straw. And I guess we're going to seed some grass today. Yeah. There. I lied. There was some water in it. It's okay. We're going to get a couple straw bales, throw them in there to brace that. Yep, that'll do. We're going a mile and a half. That'll be fine. All right. So, you may remember this concrete project we did earlier this summer. I've been trying to get the dirt graded off around it, so I think it was Saturday I was out here working on this a little bit. Took our uh, little S-Tine on 4020 and tore up a lot of this and the strip along there that was all weeds and not really any grass. Tried to grade this hill off. I have some grass seed left over from some stuff I did this spring, and so I want to try and seed this area here. I don't have enough to do all of that. We'll have to get another bag around, which is fine. Um, but I got it dragged... Uh, uh, you know, I went through it with that S-Tine and then I dragged it off pretty good and got it relatively leveled up. But I want to be able to smash it down, try and smash those clods in. And uh, we'll pick up some rocks and stuff that are laying around here. And then uh, we'll get some grass seed put on it and put some straw on because it likes to wash. There's quite a slope here. You can kind of see in the house how much the elevation changes there with the foundation. And so I don't want it to all the dirt to just run down when it rains tonight. So we'll put some straw on it to stop that from happening. Pick up our trash. I decided to get the 4020 out and drag this again. The weeds that I tore out the other day have had some time to dry up and I might be able to uh, break up the clumps or drag them off a little bit better. I'm trying it again, so. We're just gonna drag through here, loosen up the dirt. I've got the uh, uh, little drag that we pull behind our ATV down here too, so we can use that when we're done with it. Just to help smooth it off a little bit. Gives me a nice seat fit. You know what's really nice about three-point implements with no hydraulics? With open station tractors. Unhooked. Just like that. Super duper easy. I want the box scraper now. Like I said, no hydraulics, three point, it's awesome. Ruined the sweatshirt. We're trying to do a little shape in here yet. I want to make sure I got this corner built up good so that that corner of the concrete isn't sticking up out. Um, or it's going to get broken off or just be a short way from there. So right now I'm dragging dirt away from it, but I'm kind of going to drag it back up there. And I'm also trying to make sure I've got good slope coming away from that window out to the field here so the water drains away from the house. Did I show you dragging it? I don't think I showed it. I drug it with the four-wheeler and the little drag that we got. And now I got some rocks. I would like to get all these grass clumps picked up somehow. 
without using my hands. It'll take forever. I wonder if my lawn sweeper would do it without getting too much dirt. We might try that, but I'm gonna pick up rocks for a minute. Well, let's see if this does anything. I mean, we got stuff in there. I've got it set all the way up right now, so we may have to adjust. But it seems to be working. Sweet. Well, this is actually working really well. I got a big old pile there. And it's not perfect, but it's like a lot cleaner than it was, so that'll make it easier to get a good seed catch. All right, well, I feel pretty good about this. It, it's got a nice lay to it. It looks like we've got good slope. There is a drain under that window too, if there's a little bit of water that hangs there. I just don't want a wet pocket here. And, uh, you know, that edge, we're gonna have to do some landscaping along the edge of the house there, so I'm not too worried about that. The wind's picking up a little bit. There is rain coming this afternoon. I would like to get my grass seed spread before it uh, starts getting too windy and whatever, and I wanna get the straw put down before it rains so that it mulches it and holds everything in place. So seeds out in the seed warehouse. Good spot for it, right? I forgot I had a bag of fertilizer left over. I'm gonna spread that too. I should buy some fertilizer and spread the whole lawn. Try and make it better for next year. We'll see. We should just get a cart spread the field. Just do the whole thing. Just my lawn with the field. That would be easier. Uh, we'll start with this. Get our grass planted. All right. I filled the uh, roller up with water so we can roll this when we're done. And I'm ready to spread some grass seed. We've got this super fancy old cyclone cedar that um, has a crank handle here. And we'll just do this, but I have to hold the, I have to use two hands because I have to hold the gate open. All right, well, I was able to get this whole area spread and out there between here and the field. So that's good. If you look here, you can see all the grass seed. You can see the fertilizer granules. The brown ones are phosphorus. I think that's MAP. The red ones are potash. It's uh, potassium. And uh, I'm sure there's some white ones somewhere that we probably can't see anymore. But yeah, it's, it's covered good. So... Now I'm going to roll it and just level, smooth, smash, incorporate that seed a little bit. And then we'll take our straw bales and throw them all, spread them out. Might need a few more straw bales for the looks of it. it turns out I need a four-wheel drive lawnmower. I don't have enough traction to make it up this hill. So we're going to back her around and kind of go sideways across it. Too steep. spread some chaff it's starting to sprinkle a little bit that's good well there's one bale it did pretty good i'm putting it on pretty thin that's intentional i'm trying to keep a nice thin even layer i don't want it to get too thick because then i have to worry about uh well you don't want it too thick because it'll choke the grass out but i want to be able to mow through it and I, don't, I just don't want a thick layer of straw so that worked pretty well a couple more all right, well, um, one of those bales was half hay. <laughs> the half straw, half hay bale. So it's a little greener over there. This grass is growing already. No, uh, it's fine. The, the hay is a little stringier than the straw, so it doesn't scatter as well, clumped a little bit. I might see if he's got another bale or two of straw around. Problem is he's doing everything in his bundles, right? They're, uh, they 
bale of straw with that bale bearing, so it puts them in 21 bale bundles, and you don't want to break it to get one or two bales out. And so, if he doesn't have any broken or uh, loose loose bales, then I won't worry about it. If he does, I'll grab them. Anyway, we got to take that roller back. Now, if it does rain today, which I said is a good thing, right? It is for the grass seed here. It's not for the soybean harvest, which is probably more important. So I don't really want it to rain. Um, but if it does, we should be good. If it doesn't rain today or tomorrow, we'll have to get the water out and water this. I'm trying. I got more areas of lawn that need to be seeded. I'm trying to do small areas so that I can water it and keep up with it and get it established good. Last fall when we did this and tried to seed the whole yard because the house was new and everything. Um, had a guy come in with a, you know, a tractor and a, a grater blade, whatever we needed to get it nice and smooth. He did a great job, a slit seeder. We got it seeded perfect. And then we had like three and a half inches of rain six hours later and it just washed everywhere. And I've got gullies and it didn't come up even and all the seed washed off of this hill. It just didn't work right. It was just unfortunate the weather. So nothing I can do about that. We're trying to fix it now. Um, um, I know that I probably should have gone and rented a Harley rake and a, a, a slit seater and all that, but I'm cheap. I don't like spending money on things I don't have to spend money on, and I didn't have to do that to do this, so it'll be fine. Well, I had to wait for the water to drain out of it to get it loaded into the trailer. And Rylan came home from school. Can you say hi? Hi. So he's going to go with us. We're going to take this thing back and look. Raindrops starting to rain. Can I believe that this trailer with a hydraulic pump right inside that cabinet doesn't have a hydraulic jack? What in the world? <sighs> well, I've been doing some office work here this afternoon, including going through these sheets. These are our fertilizer recommendations from our uh, crop consultant with all of the different zones and how much fertilizer we need to put on. So just going through that, double checking everything. They have one field on there that uh, we're actually going to spread chicken litter on, so I don't need the recommendations. So i got to have them take that one off. There's one field that's on there twice, it's a duplicate, so we got to fix that. And then I need to add up the totals of how much um, map and potash that we're going to need for the fall. Uh, get that to my... Uh, retailer so that they have an idea how much they're we're going to need and uh we'll have everything so doing a little bit of that planning it is raining we've had a little over a tenth and it's nice and slow and it's perfect for my grass so anyway it is about time for us to go home we also helped rylan with this spelling words he's getting there but it's first grade it's gonna take a while so anyway, have a great night. I don't know what tomorrow's got in store for us. Um, maybe we'll go pick up a trailer. I haven't actually bought it yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to get. So we didn't get there today. I do have a couple of seed customers that I might try and get lunch with. Um, I have a big deadline coming up here on Friday, so I'd like to nail a couple of guys down, I guess, if you will. But uh, yeah, so have a great night, everybody. Thanks for tagging along with me as we plant grass. It's super exciting. Harvest, man, we just need some weather. Just cooperate weather so I can make good videos for my YouTube followers. See ya. Beautiful. Beautiful, nice rain. It'll be green tomorrow. It'll be green tomorrow. Okay, probably not, but it will turn green.